another design tutorial. My name is Janice and today we are going to learn how to create a simple and clean calendar design by using one of my InDesign templates. You can create this from scratch if you would like to but if you feel that time is money and that time is precious to you and you just want to design quickly and just get it out to here to sell, to give away or whatever it is that you want to do, I'd rather just use the template if you ask me. So let's get started shall we so we are going to recreate this lovely simple and clean calendar design and as you can see i've already created this uh design and but the original template will look something like this so we'll just open our our template right now now our template comes in two uh, basically, it comes in two different formats. If you have CS4 or later, or if you have the current CC version, you just click in this folder and you can choose a calendar that starts with Monday or starts with Sunday. I like calendars that start with Monday, but some people like with Sunday. So just go ahead and choose whatever that you like. And then it comes in three different sizes. So if you like uh, A4, A5 or US letter, just whatever that you like, I'll stick with A4 that because that, that is what I usually use. So double click in and it will open up a new document. So this is, is what it's going to look like. So uh, this is how simple and basic the, the design is. Okay. But the dates are already dated in the current uh, 2020. So in the year 2020, I mean. And I'll just change it to all print preview just to get rid of the um, lines that's hovering over the, the design. So all I had to do was to change the text. Okay. It's just the one that I like. And then just activate your margins, just control or command uh, semicolon. Mm. I think it really should standardize. Um, that maybe, yep. And then I'll change this text as well to the one that I like. I think it's a little bit smaller, isn't it? We'll just make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And then I'll remove the background color. And that's it. And then you can you can either just sell it already if you like. Uh, if you want to go a step further, you can do this. Uh, maybe highlight and maybe you want to change the color to orange but maybe bring the opacity down to 20 just remove these um, we'll get rid of the background color for the top okay and maybe the text you want to be a little bit darker you can change the text to just black oops that's the stroke that we did we don't want that so just select the whole thing like that and then select it to um, make sure you are selecting your text okay so click on the T make sure this is at the front all right all right yep and that's it and you can go on the second one um, the same so what I do is sometimes I just copy like this. Okay, just select both and just control C or command C on your Mac and then just paste it in place. So I'll <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I'll click this paste in place. Now because this this page is on this side, it will usually paste on this side, you know. If I had a page right here and I'll copy and I say paste in place, it will paste on this side. So that's okay. We'll just make do with what we have at the moment. And we'll just make sure that um, it's just, I'll just bring it somewhere else first. 
because I just want to get rid of this February and just replace it with this January. Yeah. Mm. We'll just design it with the margins like that. It's so easy. I tell you, it took me just li literally a few minutes to do mine. But this is just a tutorial and I want to take time to explain it. So it does take me a little bit of a time to explain it um, and to show you. But it is actually fairly straightforward. Um, I'll just change the color. I think it was pink. Yep. So everything's all laid out. You can just use the existing color, change the font, change, change the position of the text, all your layout. And then you're already good to go. It is that simple. All right. And then again, I'll bring it down to 20. And then I'll change the text. You just click on the T to activate the text format. And then make sure this T is at the top. If this is at the top, you are probably changing the stroke of the text. But that's not what we want. So just click. make sure this is at the top and click black. And that is how you do it. That's it. That's literally, literally just it. And remember to change your website. So usually this is right at the um, pages uh, tab right here. And you have to change it at the master level. Because you see, if you try to do this, it, it won't activate. So if let's say I, I change my website here, right? Okay. And I'll just increase the text a little bit, maybe by nine. Sorry about that. That was some random call. Anyway, as I was saying, just uh, make sure you centralize it. I think it's already in, in the center. And just delete this and just copy by just using the Alt key shift and then let go and then centralize it again all right and if you you notice because i change it at the master level let's look at your pages um I just remove the text okay move sorry the, the the lines the guides and um yes see so everything is with my current website it it just um you just have to edit once and it just updates on all the pages. It's that simple. Okay. So this is a very super short tutorial, but it is, um, that is how you save time. And because you save time, you have more things to do of the other things that you love. Like you love to sell, um, create calendars for giveaways as a gift. And, um, you can do all sorts of things with it. And I know a lot of people like the simple approach of uh, calendar. And that is why I created this option for in my store. Now, what is the benefits of using this template? Uh, we'll just go quickly. So basically, you have like um, six pages. Sorry, 12 pages. 12 pages. Okay, 12 pages. And um, you'll have... The rights for commercial use, okay, it's great for selling, giveaways, lead magnets, content upgrades, collaborations, or if you are using it for personal use as well. Um, and then that's how, can you just see how simple it is? You know, I just tweak maybe one or two elements, just changing the fonts, uh, putting a bit of color, and that's it. You can just hit the save button, uh, export button into your PDF, and it's ready to go, okay? um so it comes in three different sizes and um as you can see you just need to change through the five things to get a completely new design and um you have 12 simple and clean calendar pages so it's um uh, it's very versatile this calendar is so versatile and every year I will update to the latest calendar. But if you can't wait, you know, you already have the template. Just do it yourself. You know, it's easy. Just type a few numbers and that's it. So this um, is one of my newest uh, template in store right now. And 
um, for those who are not template users and want to use just the ready designed um, calendar that I've created, um, this one's here. It is up for sale as well. So you have two options, either to buy the template or you just don't want a template, you just want to use my calendar, it's up for sale. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next tutorial next week. And if you haven't subscribed already and you would like to hear from me more often, do subscribe right now, like it, and hit the bell button. I'll see you next time.